so I decided to do something different. I'm going to do twin flame videos, but I want to individualize it per time because, you know, there seems to be this idea that everybody's going through. What is that? My sewing coming apart. That everybody's going through the same things. And we are not all going through the same things. Some relationships are unifying. Some relationships are going through the separation phase. Some, it's just so many different things that a relationship, a divine partnership can be going through. And it's not a cookie cutter. Yes, we all go through the process. But we aren't all going through it at the same time. I don't think so. A lot of us may be. But some of us may not. So, I'm individualizing Twin Flame readings for the general, um, you know, YouTube audience. I've already started and the card that came out already is a um, Knight of Cups. We have Nine of Swords and this is for the sign of Aries. Twin Flame Relationship, Aries. King of Pentacles, look at them, showing up in their own reading. <laughs> I love when that happens. Okay, goodness gracious. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. So we have, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords, we have the King of Pentacles, we have two of Pentacles, we have the King of Cups, and we have the Three of Swords, bottom of the deck energy, Page of Pentacles, and the Star. I'm going to take both of them only because they seem to both want to be seen. And right under there is the Death card, so... You know what? I'm stopping taking cards. I'm going to take this one too. And the moon. That temperance card looks mighty good too. But I'm going to leave it at there. So we have Knight of Cups. We have Nine of Swords. King of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. King of Cups. Three of Swords. The Star. Page of Pentacles. The Death card. The Moon card. And our new energy at the bottom of the deck. We have Temperance. And the Seven of Wands. All right, I just wanted to, I just felt inclined to take all of those cards. So I'm not doing that for the rest of the sign. So Aries, you're first. You know, wonderful for you. Let's get a Oracle message to go with this reading for the sign of Aries. Ooh, take time to breathe out. Okay. While I go over, read, look over these cards. What is this one? While I go over and read these cards, that one said hold your vision. I'm not going to add it to the spread though, but I'll just make it known. Alright, anyway, while I look over these cards, watch this beautiful message. Let me know if I can help you with my subscription program. Where I hope people, I prefer people in business so I can provide strategic spiritual guidance and lead them towards the fruition of their goals. Anyway, watch this quick video while I go over these cards. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you good luck and peace Hey, what's up, God? I'm back. So, in this twin flame relationship, this is for an Aries who have not connected with their divine partner because you're still struggling. You still have mental anguish. You don't. You're struggling between two people. You don't know who to choose because you're afraid that you're gonna break somebody's heart. Or if this is, if maybe this is um, Aries, how your partner feels about you, or this is how you can feel about your partner, or vice versa. If you're a cross structure. Anyway, so it starts with the Knight of Cups. It's the Knight is not moving though. The Knight is moving very slowly because this Aries or partner, divine partner, this divine partner is all in his or her head. You can't move forward, you don't know what to do. Because 
sorry you're torn between two people so you have the king of pentacles and you have the king of cups right here and you have the balance you have you're balancing you don't know you're juggling between these two options that you have one could be solid emotionally one could be solid financially you could have financial ties to one person emotional ties to another person and you just don't know what to do and it's causing you mental anguish so you're not coming forward with an offer or your partner is not coming forward with an offer because he or she does not know what to do and he's afraid of one it not working out and his or her heart being broken but also he's afraid to break someone else's heart which is understandable so it's causing him or her mental anguish your partner is anguished you don't you know this could be you or your partner but it's like I don't want to hurt this person I don't want to hurt this person so I'm not gonna do anything and I'm not gonna get what I want but that brings me to the bottom of the deck energy which is the temperance card and the um seven of swords seven of wands and it's just basically saying it's time for you to focus on your you have to fight for what you believe in put yourself first and fight for what you believe in but find balance between how what you do for yourself and what you do for others it cannot be all about other people it cannot be all about i don't want to break this person's heart so i'm going to suffer you have to find balance between providing for yourself and, and fulfilling yourself and also being the person that you're supposed to be for others does that mean deny your divine partner no does that mean deny your wants and your needs no you have to provide for yourself and fulfill yourself as well i teach my son all the time i teach myself and my son you are number one in your life not your kids not your mom not your dad not anything external from you you're number one in your life and you have to put yourself first sometimes we a lot of parents a lot of partners sometimes we put ourselves last but you have to put yourself first sometimes too you have to find balance between your needs and the needs of others around you so the bottom of the deck you have the star you know these are the extra cards i pull i pull the star card i pull the page of pentacles i pull the death card in the moon this is just attuning to being your authentic self going within be who you are supposed to be love who you love love who you love being true to yourself letting go of things that are no longer serving you but providing being solid in who you are being solid having a solid foundation of who you are and what you want and going after it you know, not letting obstacles get in the way of what you want out of life. Who you want to be with. Your divine partner. And this, I could be preaching to the choir. Because this could be for your divine partner. But this is just what he or she needs to do. Focus on themselves. But find balance in their life and who they provide for. So that you can also fulfill your life or his or her life. As well as those that, you know, rely on them. Yeah, stand up for what you believe in and these things that are no longer serving you it's time for something to end one of these king the king of cups king of uh, pentacles one of these relationships one of these partnerships whatever this is has to end so that a new beginning something else can begin and you may not even with this moon card right here you're just uncertain you don't know how it's gonna go but sometimes you just have to take that leap of faith especially if it's potentially your divine partner you have to take the leap of faith and do what's best for you. Focus on your emotions. Focus on what makes you happy and fulfill yourself. And find balance with everybody else. But yeah, this this energy of being all in your head, you know, this energy of being afraid of breaking somebody's heart. You gotta let that go. But once you pick someone and you actually go through it and you stand up for what you believe in, you overcome the obstacles along the way, and you focus on fulfilling yourself and finding balance between your self-fulfillment and fulfillment of others, you know, that's a positive start, you know? It's new beginnings, it's transformation, and it'll get, it'll help you get out of your head. I hope this helps, Aries. Um, if I can give you a private reading, hit the link in my description and i'd love to look into your situation and provide you with whatever spiritual guidance you need that spirit gives me okay love and light peace so aries before i go i forgot to read your oracle card and i believe it's important which is why i just added this to the video but the oracle card you got is disseminating moon take the time to excuse my back i am not at home <laughs> I'm not at home, so I'm gonna work with what I have. But um, let's take the time to breathe out. The disseminating moon is when the intensity of the full moon has abated. And what are we left with? 
this this little that's what this card is asking you it suggests that this is a situation you're asking about has now peaked and it's time to regroup and learn from your experience rather than blindly forging ahead have faith that what is happening is for the best trying to accept the way things are and give yourself and others time out to relax breathe we can't be on we can't be on all the time if you feel you hit an obstacle or even feel in some way now it's time to reflect on how to do things differently next time. Be honest with yourself, and if you feel bad about your current situation, then remind yourself that life goes in cycles. So, you should know where you stand either now or very soon. You need to take some time out for your own good, and it's time for you to share your wisdom and experience with someone else. I hope that adds value to this reading, and again, peace, love, and light.